What is going on, Aquarius? What is going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tebro, and I am back at it again. One time for the remix. Yes, indeed, to let you know what is going on for mid-month May, the 15th through the 31st. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. What's up, baby? What's poppin', honey? Yes. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for sharing love and light to this page. I want to give a shout out to my baby girl, Callie, real quick, because she did us a solid. She did us two solids. First off, by just being my boo, that's number one. Number two, she used that Amazon wish list and she ordered us this numerology deck. And guess what? I got a secret. She ordered us the freaking Game of Thrones tarot deck. Do you hear me? Where's all my Game of Throners? Okay, can you believe we only got one episode? <gasps> they killed my whole baby Jabberwocky. They killed my whole baby Jabberwocky. They did. They killed the green one. Y'all know I loved it. The green. <laughs> he was a little green egg. <gasps> my whole ass baby walky. My whole ass baby Jabberwocky. Okay, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry. Okay. But anyway, we're going to have our Game of Thrones um deck. Thanks to my baby Kylie. Okay. Kylie, girl. Uh, anyway. Shout out to my baby, Callie. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and light that you guys sent to the page. If there's anyone that want to send support to the page or if you want to book a personal or private reading, you can do that by clicking the About tab. There are a whole bunch of links there. If you want to book with me, first thing you need to do is click that hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. You need to book with me and then link, okay? So once you click that booking link again, it says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me, then double back and link with me, all right? You see that Instagram link right under there? Yes, that one directly under the booking link, that one. Click that Instagram link, okay? Then send me a personal or private message and say, Hey, Reds, I booked with you on this date and time. And then we're going to link up there for the video chat. Now, if you do not have Instagram or you just prefer not to use your Instagram, you can use Google Hangouts, okay? My email address to connect with me is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Again, just download Google Hangouts. It's an easy app. If you don't want it, keep it. You could delete it after our video session, okay? If you want to record our video session in the description the menu for my booking there's an add-on in there that says um, video recap slash direct upload okay you can use that add-on if you want to have a recording of our whole session and if you want me to do a private upload to YouTube so you can just have you know you can go back and look at it you know you can have a recap of the whole video of what we did or what we talked about you can add that on to your menu when you're booking and then you know we can have a recording of your video you can also use that if you do not want to get on camera if you do not feel comfortable with getting on camera for whatever reason and you prefer to just send me your question and you want me to do the direct video upload you can use that for that too just keep in mind when you do that we won't be able to interact back and forth with a direct video upload and if you um send me your question and you decide not to get on camera with me make sure you only send me your question do not send me the information surrounding the question as to why you're asking a question because I don't want you to say well I already know that or you know <laughs> you are I already told you that okay so only send me what you want to know and then I'll let you know what spirit has to say based on that energy surrounding that question okay and if you want to like I said send love to the page my Amazon wish list and my PayPal is in the description and shout out to everyone who's been and love and light through the PayPal. Y'all made this tea leaf reading possible. You guys, every little dollar counts. Every little dollar, little 10 cents, little ten dollars, five dollars, whatever y'all send, it all goes to everything that y'all seen here. So y'all made all of this possible. So thank you guys again. And if you want to send some love and light to the page, just go ahead and check out that Amazon wish list or you know you can click that um, PayPal and you can just you know do whatever you want to do. And again thank you everybody and shout out to my baby girl Amanda um who recently sent me some um a, a love offerings through the PayPal then you know that will be going to something great as well. So shout out to Amanda and shout out to my baby girl Kylie. All right let's get into the reading for my Aquarius is hold on let me take a quick sippy sip of some coffee hold on listen listen to me alright so 
Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for my Aquariuses. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Aquarius, leaving hoes, Dolores. You already know how they go. So, listen. Father God, I don't know why. I'm kind of feeling, um... What am I feeling? I don't know. The energy is just kind of very quiet. I don't know if I'm feeling anything right now. I don't even know what to say. And that's kind of like strange. I don't never have like going to a prayer and not knowing what to say with anybody. Um, It's just blank. Why is it just blank? Okay. Father God, please give me guidance for Aquarius. Please lead me to guidance. Open up. Just open up. I just feel like it's in a space of just, I don't want to say darkness, but mm -hmm. give me guidance. I don't know what I'm feeling right there. It was just like, mm -hmm. give me guidance. Give me guidance around the Aquarius, please. Give me guidance around my Aquarius in mid May, please. 2019. Give me guidance. Individuality. I feel like that's why it's like. I wasn't feeling nothing. It's like you're trying to stand out as an individual, but I don't think you really know who you are as an individual. I feel like if someone's asking you like who who are who are you as an individual? Whoever's energy I'm picking up right now, I don't think you know. I think, like, when I was going into my prayer, and normally I always have something to say. It's always, like, heartfelt or whatever, you know, energy I'm just tapping into is just, you know, but I just didn't feel anything. I didn't feel anything. Give me another number. Cause I was feeling like I was in a dark space. Nature. I, I feel like y'all are really trying. Yeah, y'all are trying to figure out what your your individuality and, and what is your true nature. Like who you are. I feel like whoever this is has been told who they are, what they should look like, how they should dress, how they should carry themselves. And they've like always adapted themselves to somebody else's fixation on what they should have been or what you know what I'm saying? Like that could be someone always living up to their mother's expectation, their father's expectation, trying to be the perfect person in a relationship, or you know, like even like your girlfriend or your boyfriend, like having like strict rules or strict expectations on you where you're not really able to be who you are as an individual. And I feel like y'all you possibly been under that strict rule for so long. I don't even think that you know who you are and you're truthful. Like who the fuck am I? It's just like just complete blank. Give me guidance. From my Aquarius. Give my Aquarius guidance. Mid May. Thank you so much for your divine and light. Give my Aquarius guidance. Ooh, the Knight of Swords. Now y'all coming out the door like that. I feel like, yeah, y'all are fighting for your individually, your individuality. And right now, your nature is very aggressive. Like, I feel like y'all are fighting people off, like, verbally. It's like you just... I feel like you standing up in your truth. Like, you standing up in your truth. And it's like... You 
like th this is like you confronting people about something. Like you confronting people about something. Like you want to know the truth. You standing in your truth. You telling motherfuckers how you feel. You don't really care about how people feel about that shit. Like you just like back the fuck down. Like, 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 look. Tell me what the fuck is going on. Because this is what I feel. And guess what? Huh. I'm not listening to you no more. I'm my own individual. I know what the fuck. I, I know where I stand and I know what the fuck I saw. And I know. I know what I know. So I need you to. <laughs> come to me with some true shit or like for real for real like I'm not playing with you like this is someone that is rolling up on someone like you know you can't tell me what I saw you can't tell me who to be you can't tell me how to act no more like fuck you I'm telling you the truth about me you tell me the truth about you or I'ma fucking cut you off straight like that you understand cause I know what the fuck I saw so you make that shit make sense to me motherfucker you know what I'm saying like somebody Somebody <laughs> got Aquarius to the point where they just being true to their goddamn nature right now. It's like they, they don't even care about what people think or feel about them. Like, no, I'm not about to be this cookie cutter, perfect ass motherfucker for you. I'm my own individual. And look, you can't tell me when motherfuckers do something to me or I think somebody is lying or I'm trying to figure out what the facts is going around in this bitch. You won't tell me how to go about it. No, this is me being true to my nature. This is how I'm up. I go smack off on bitches. So this is me. Okay? The fuck? <laughs> like, it's like, no. Aquarius going to smack off. <laughs> like, y'all rushing in on somebody like... Like fact checking bitches. Mmm. Three of cups. Cheating. Mmm. 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 wonder why Aquarius going in that ass like that. No wonder why Aquarius going in that ass. <laughs> they in that ass. Honey. They is in that ass. No wonder why I kept saying I saw what I saw. Bro, I get it now. Son, I get Oh my God. No wonder why I was like so blank, young. I swear, like this, that was the moment before Aquarius went smack the fuck off, Slim. Like, have you ever, like, I mean, like, serious, like that moment before you black out? Because I just said, remember, I said I, 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 I didn't see nothing but darkness. It was just very quiet, very still, and just dark. It was like I was in a dark room. It was just like dark. Like a blackout. Blackout. Like, bitch, you black the fuck out. Do you understand me? Like, Aquarius black the fuck out on somebody. Wanting the fucking truth. Wanting to know what the fuck is going on. Because, bitch, you been out there celebrating and having it the fuck up with somebody. Because you ain't giving all your emotions to me, clearly, bitch. So where the fuck you been? And for a matter of fact, people done told me. I done seen pictures. I done found out about what the fuck you been doing. You been hanging out in the club. You been in a bar. You done went, what, two, three, two, three uh, 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 zip codes over. Hanging around with, with some other bitches. You thought I wasn't going to find out about that shit? Hey, Slim, I will smack whole shit out you. You better tell me what the fuck this bullshit is that I'm seeing right here. Yeah, you need to make this shit make sense to me. Because guess what? I listen. <laughs> I've been, I've been, I've been listening, 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 listen the fuck to me. This person feels like their individuality was stifled. Like, they possibly couldn't be what they wanted to be or do what they wanted to do or certain things in their life that they held back. For this relationship. To find out some shit like this. 
some shit like this. So guess what? If you didn't know who the fuck Aquarius is, oh bitch, you're going to find out today. Oh, you're going to find out today. Because some shit like that, oh yeah, you're going to see Aquarius come out true to nature. And I'm going to show you that we're not the one to be played with the fuck around here. Because y'all done start to listen. The court, listen, that was black out. Black out. Black out. Black the fuck. Black out. Black out. I don't know if you attacking the person that is cheating or the person that they're cheating with. But you're blacking the fuck out on whoever or whatever about this third. Because someone wasn't the way that they normally celebrate and hang with you and give their heart to you and communicate with you and have it up with you. This person started slowly, slowly, slowly. That shit started drifting away towards the way it was damn near nothing where they weren't giving you nothing at all. And you was like, what the fuck is going on, bitch? The fuck is going on? You think I'm about to be listening? This is someone that put in a lot of time, that put in a lot of work, and that put in a lot of effort and decided, you know what? I sat here and I waited for a long ass motherfucking time. I'm about to just cut my losses. As you can see, this person cut whatever the fuck. So this might be somebody. Look, if y'all live with each other, um, splitting up whatever assets, whatever the hell it is, because they were patient. They waited. Do you understand? They put their time in. Do you get me? This is someone that legitimately deserved to reap all of the benefits of whatever they invested into this situation, this relationship. So whatever the fuck they decided to cut, they ain't take everything, clearly. But they grabbing whatever the fuck they need to grab and they getting the fuck on out of here. You understand? Because it's like, what the fuck am I waiting on? On this? On this? Huh. You must have lost your motherfucking mind. You must have lost your motherfucking mind. Because at the end of the day, I must have forgot who the fuck I am. But I'm about to find out real quick. Because y'all about to see who Aquarius is true to fucking nature. Bitch. Okay? Seven take away four equals motherfucking three. What this um means three? What does that mean? Communication, energetic, expression. Okay, being artistic. Yeah, so they about to be artistic all on your ass. Listen, they about to be all artistic on your ass. You feel what I'm saying? But you know what? Uh, Aquarius said, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to let people get me too much out my nature. Cause I'm gonna let God deal with you. I'm going to let God deal with you. Because guess what? <laughs> guess what? God told me don't fight this battle. Give it to me. Let me make the final judgment on this. Cut your losses. Grab whatever the fuck it is that you need to grab. Stop. 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 Arguing with this person. Stop battling with this person. Stop going back and forth with bitches. Stop. Just, just don't. Mm -mm. You done did it several times over before. This ain't your this, this no 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 no. This ain't your battle. This ain't your battle. Whatever you can grab, grab what you can grab. So this is Aquarius. Listen, don't be surprised if Aquarius don't go and empty out your bank account before they leave, bitch. I'm, I'm, <laughs> let me be the one to tell you. Let me be the one to tell you. Do not be surprised. Okay? Do not be surprised because you put them through too much. And God said, you know what? Let me deal with it. And God said, and, and of course, said, yeah, God, I'm going to let you deal with it. But I'm, I guarantee you I'm about to take some of this money off this bank because, God damn, I earned it. Fuck you. Do not be surprised if Aquarius don't. They ain't going to take everything, but they're going to take it just, just enough to suit their listen. Because they don't forgive you for shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't forgive you for a motherfucking thing. And they know for what happened here. What happened here? They feel like God ain't going to forgive you neither. They feel like you had bad judgment. And to continue to stay in this situation would be bad judgment on their part. This is someone being called to answer for whatever it is that they did wrong. And this is the decision not necessarily going out in their favor. And that's why God said, you know what, baby, don't even, don't do this. 
don't do this because at the end of the day if you continue to lessen yourself and continue to compete and battle and argue and entertain this bullshit you just as stupid as the you just as stupid as the one that you asking me to um to place judgment on but this is Aquarius saying, you know what, well, God, this is not my battle. This is not my fight. I don't have the energy to fight this no more. Please. Please deal with this so I can move on. And that's exactly, that's exactly what God did. God said, I got you. I just need you to not make bad judgment decisions no more. I need you to pack your shit and move on and let the motherfuckers worry about and look back at everything in the past because that's what's going to happen and this is exactly what god is telling of course that's exactly what's going to happen you're going to get on your shit and you're going to turn around well excuse me you're not going to turn around i'm going to tell you what you're going to see when you because you're not turning around you're walking away and this person is looking back at every goddamn thing that they lost and they're going to regret it so don't you worry. You keep on going because if this person really did think that the grass was greener on the other side, let them stay on the other side and you keep on moving. And you keep on moving as above, so below. And whatever they put out into the universe, they're going to get back and you let me be the person that dishes them their karma. You just going about your goddamn business with your handsome or your pretty ass and you let them you let them deal with their energy. Sometimes you got to leave people with their energy. Do you feel what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to leave motherfuckers with their energy. And that's exactly what you did. You said, what, bitch? What's going on? You're doing what? I'm not saying that goddamn Aquarius ain't smacked the shit out. You going out the door. <laughs> well, no. It wasn't like this. This is saying Aquarius might have beat your ass. Aquarius ain't beat your ass. Aquarius ain't beat your ass. They just, they, yeah. You got a real, they came at you real hard. Because they wanted to know what the fuck was going on. Do you feel what I'm saying? But they cut their losses. And they walked the fuck, they walked right the fuck on away. And this, this looks like an Aquarius man leaving a woman here. Some Aquarius man left, left some woman. And she behind, looking back at the past and, and, and trying to figure out what the fuck happened. You know what the hell happened? You knew what the hell happened? Shit. And you know what I always say when I see this car here? Someone was out there and they spilled water over. Well, they sp I always say it backwards. They I always say they always you you spilled water for wine. But it's like you had wine and you spilled that over for a glass of water. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? So why would you even entertain a glass of water when you had wine? You spilling over water for, you know what I'm saying? When you have wine. And then you sit there looking, trying to figure out, no. 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 It's a queen of wands. So it's possible that this Aquarius could have been dating a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay. But this is the Queen of Wands, a very, very beautiful lady. Very, very, um, like, mysterious, you know, very energetic, very passionate, a go-getter, very driven, extremely attractive. feel like she has very long hair, very soft skin. Like, <laughs> I feel like she's a, a kind of, like, a little bit below average size a little bit. I don't feel like this person is like really tall or anything like that. Um, but really cute. Really cute with a very nice voluptuous body and everything like that. Very beautiful woman. But there was most definitely a betrayal and a connection here. Where there was a true commitment. There was a marriage. And there's not going to be any more celebration. It's not going to be any reconnection like if you guys were trying to possibly get back with this person maybe this is something that has happened in the past maybe this is what happened is why you're single now because someone is most definitely single oh because someone got left behind big time their intuition their spiritual intuition told them to leave that shit behind because they found out what the fuck was going on and they they gave it to god they gave it to God. And now this person is sitting back reminiscing. 
and feeling regretful for having bad judgment and putting someone in a situation where they were having to battle and compete for a love that should have been theirs. If it's, if it was a commitment like this, excuse me, like this, you shouldn't have to fight. You you should you 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 don't you don't battle and compete for for when you got a commitment like that at home. Why would you why would you put someone through that? That's no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I'm definitely taking that as like there's possibly an Aquarius man as beautiful as this woman is in all her glory and all of that stuff like that. But I definitely feel like this Aquarius man um, walked away and, di and divorced this um, fire sign woman. See what the, let's see what we got here. Let me know what's going on in the shadow and light. healing all right yes because we are most definitely getting our individuality back and stepping into our true nature because you guys have most definitely had a big breakup a big divorce y'all giving it to god y'all cut y'all losses y'all emptied out the bank account <laughs> y'all not fighting no more you know what i'm saying you gave people your ass to kiss all right hola healing all right amara the man of hue, or whatever the hell that says, child, whatever, look, whatever, okay? Hola, healing, okay? Number 19, let's see what we got here. This says, says, Amara has come, and so it is time to begin and eat more fresh fruits, drink healthy fruit juices and smoothies, take dance lessons, have a tropical bath with flower petals, and bring the energy of the waterfall into your life. Um, the, the Kuna message and body work is wonderful for you when Amara makes her gentle, powerful presence felt. She also responds well to dancing, joyful exercises, and singing and music. Fresh fruits, fruits, and more raw foods, and you would definitely benefit from more sunshine and outdoor time. There may be a relaxing and healing tradition within your ancestry to investigate. Take it in a vacation and a journey to a soulful place. Holistic treatments will have an appeal as will natural alternatives. By taking this approach and devoting yourself to it, you can experience a renewed health, a positive new attitude too. Above all, it is time to connect to the powerful sunshine and the gentle soulful ways of the world surfing in the ocean winds and swimming i say surfing in the ocean winds surfing and ocean swims will become most beneficial at this time so basically what i'm getting is i'm basically getting that you guys need to like take some me time take some me time i mean this is a lot Walking away you like this. And this is possibly like. Also. You guys walking away. Finding out someone was cheating. You guys cutting. You know whatever it is. From that vine. Whatever it is that you were grow, growing. Them pinnacles. This judgment in the reverse. And walking away like that. So this means to me. Like somebody. The fight in the battle. In the, in the court situation ending the divorce is final and i definitely see someone walking away with alimony like they're not walking away empty-handed so in this divorce 
this person did not walk away empty handed i definitely do feel like it was a fight for real for real it was a fight and i don't y'all didn't back down and y'all didn't take no shit Y'all didn't back down and y'all didn't take no shit. But I don't see no broken heart here. I don't see no three of swords or nothing like that. But I definitely see why this divorce happened or why this breakup happened. But you guys surely cut your losses. I, be, I feel like the judgment in regards to the divorce ended up in your favor. Because you ended up walking away. It ended up neg negatively in their favor. Because you end up walking away. And they're sitting back trying to figure out if there's anything left in the cup. Because <laughs> you took, you took, you didn't walk away empty handed. you like, I'm not, no, mm -mm, no. And regardless of, if this is, regardless, the energy of the female in this situation, you understand what I'm saying? Has got her sunshine back. You see what I'm saying? Has got her fire back. Has got her energy back. Do you see what I'm saying? So, if this is the Aquarius woman... After being in her element, in her nature, in the hair sign shit, cutting motherfuckers out, getting motherfuckers together. You know what I'm saying? And then had to kind of just chill out. And now you sitting on your phone with Queen of Wands with brand new beginning, brand new passion in life. You know what I'm saying? This divorce is final. Now it's time to vacation. It's time to start going out dancing, enjoying life and traveling and eating right you know go eat some sushi you know what i'm saying start going to the little smoothie bars going you know yeah hola healing natural healing oh let me just pop out all day all right i just seen um courtship an official person and we're gonna keep shuffling give me some guidance for my Aquarius. Give me guidance on this Queen of Wands. Give me guidance on this Queen of Wands. Oh. Oh no, the Queen Wanda is the false person. That's the false person. Family room. That was the other. That was a false person that had something to do with the. That's the third person. Give me guidance about this person. Give me guidance about this false person. This Queen of Wands. Give me guidance. Pathway. Hmm. Where's our pathway? Pathway, concerns, journey, message. Mm. Mm. So, this is what I'm getting. I'm feeling like. I do, I do, cause it's a lot of male energy. It seems like it's a male that cut that that cut their losses and left a woman behind. There's a man that cut their losses and let a, and, and confronted a woman and left a woman behind about her partying and shit like that. You see that her partying. So I feel like this man. This man, okay, this knight of this knight of swords, all right, this Aquarius man, okay, found out about this partying, didn't like it, right? Realized that, you know, I don't think that this person is the one that I thought that they are. This person is extremely beautiful and everything. I feel, and I definitely did say that this person is mysterious. It has like a level of mystery to this person. You see? But I feel like
family room pathway concern journey and message I feel like this person this man knows that this person was a false person knows that right but I feel like because they opened up their house and their home and their heart to this person. They're concerned about like what path this person is taking. I feel like they're really concerned about what path this person is taking. But it's like, why the hell do you care though? Why the hell do you care? Because you see what I'm saying? Family room... This is a false person. And it's like, I have a because family room, like this person is like a permanent fixture in your family. Like this is your baby mother or something like that. Like this is your ex-wife. This is your children's mother or something like that. But you just know that this is like the false person. And this person is it the one for you. I mean, clearly you feel like this person is sneaking around, had a mask on and was sneaking around. But it's like that family room. And at that pathway with them butterflies, there's new beginnings, there's new birth. Do you see what I'm saying? But this person is very concerned about this journey. It's concerned about the journey that this person has been taking and finding messages. So I'm, it, it might have been possible that, you know, this, this false person... really want to say that this I feel like this person got messages about the fact that this person was possibly creating a new path you know was creating a new path creating a new family was creating a new home somewhere you see what I'm saying with a false person you see what I'm saying? You see how, because I'm sorry, I just had to like kind of marinate on it. See how she got, like she's being secretive. You see this, this debonair guy in the back that also has this mask. Like she's hiding with this man going to this person's family room. You know what I'm saying? Going to this, following this pathway, you know, sneaking to this home. You know what I'm saying? And then finding a new pathway to brand new you know what I'm saying? And then the Aquarius man is sitting back concerned. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, who the fuck is this guy? Like, who is this new house that this person is going to? Why is this person never home? This person is always, this person is always gone. You know what I'm saying? And they're concerned. Like, why was this person always gone? And then I feel like there were some messages that was found. You see? All right. I got it now. Because I'm just like, what the fuck? There were some messages that was found. Because this, this woman was always gone. Like probably saying like, oh, like, I'm, like that's my old friend or that's my cousin. Or I'm going to go hang over my cousin's house. Or I'm going to go do, like, you know what I'm saying? Like saying that they were going to go do things or this, this, and that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like maybe this person would give me guidance on this Three of Cups and this Knight of Swords, please. Because that's telling you about the woman. Ooh. Occupation. Mature man. So this Knight of, Knight of Swords was at work. Being a mature man. Oh, marriage. Yeah. Yeah. This Okay, so this person was at work. Being a mature man. Doing what he was supposed to do. Focus on taking care of the home. Like, that's what this person was doing. And why this person was out doing that, this person was out fucking gallivanting and cheating and shit like that. Creating a new pathway with a false person. You know what I'm saying? And I, I felt like almost like when this person got home, that girl was never at home. Like, she was always somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Like, the hell? Like, this man probably possibly come home, dinner not cooked and everything like that. This person out at the bar talking about, oh, I'm over at uh, so-and-so house and 
this, this, and that. Just out having it the fuck on up. Courtship in the community. Yes. Told you. Why this person was out at work. Out at work. Being a mature person. Focusing on bringing home the bacon. This person was in the community courting other people. Do you feel what I'm saying? God damn. That shit, Mo. That is crazy. And that's and you know what people always be trying to make it seem like, oh, it's just be the uh women out there that be getting dogged. No, some of these dudes be out here be getting dogged too, man. I'm trying to tell you on God, like. Mm -mm. Maybe messing it up for the good ones, man. Yeah, because he most definitely left her behind. Look, because I'm trying to tell you it was a man. It's a man that left some girl behind. Because she was out there in the motherfucking streets being street meat. Out there being street meat. <laughs> what? It was being street meat. Brava. Baby mother. Be a mother to your child. Don't never let your child feel like they're not worthwhile. Baby mother. <laughs> Be a mother to your child. <laughs> no matter how hard. <laughs> let me shut up. Baby mother. Cycles. Shadow work. Yeah. Like, man, I'm not about to keep going through this bullshit with you, bitch. You need to figure out what the fuck wrong with you. You better dig deep down and figure out why you be out here hoeing like that, man. I don't listen. Listen. Figure why you be out there hoeing like that, bitch. I ain't... <laughs> hey, father. Father. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. And you know what, Corey? Ooh, of course. No. Mm-mm. Of course, because no, of course, I feel like they like, no, go reds. Go reds. <laughs> Look, whoever this was thought that this was their twin flame and shit. They're like, man, fuck this twin flame bullshit. I'm not dealing with that bullshit. Fuck it, twin flame shit. No goddamn mute. They put your ass on mute. Block the fuck out you. God damn. Block the whole fuck out you, Slim. <laughs> Give me a <laughs> hey, father. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> not because of Quarries be cussing and shit. <laughs> Of course, it's like, man, fuck, man, I ain't, man, fuck all that dumbass twin flame bullshit running chase, man, fuck, I mute the, fuck, fuck I, I go vacation on the bitch, got no time for this shit, I go get me some Hawaiian pussy out this motherfucker, I done met him off, <laughs> hey, father, I'm not dealing with you, Aquarius, Aquarius, look, they, oh, they done metamorphosed, <laughs> metamorphed into something else, they like, I don't even, fuck with bitches like you no more i'm in the, i'm in hawaii bitch all right all right and, and like i told you in fall we gonna have it all in fall we gonna have it all they over there morphing into something beautiful and shit so in fall they can have it all they ain't got time to be fucking with you they ain't got it to do i thought it was you they ain't got it to do oh uh, hold on let me jump here with it let me jump here with it real quick let me let me just clarify this love spread here. Okay, give me some guidance for Aquarius. Because listen, this ain't even to individuality in nature. No wonder why I'm saying individuality in nature. And I was just seeing black. Give me, give me color. Give me picture to what we want to paint the future. Ooh, new love, honey. You see that lake of Aphrodite in the back, honey? That is being... Formed in the in the in the cosmos, honey. Yes. Listen, a sunset when one love creates open opportunities for brand new blessings. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mhm. Yeah, that's that judgment. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh. 
Oh no, oh no, 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 no. This is about that the sun setting on that love. And how this woman is dealing with this. Trying to manifest. Give me more information. Okay. All right, Aquarius, this is what I'm getting here. <clears throat> so it definitely looks like Hold on here. Yeah, it's like So this is, I'm sorry about the deep pause. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So basically, like I said, I feel like the sun is set on an old love. It is set. But with that setting, you see the Lake of Aphrodite in the background here. You see it, right? So that means that it's opening up some shit in the cosmos to form a brand new love. A brand new love. Something that, hold on. Let me put in my oh, charger. It's forming a brand new love because I feel like you did have a lack of judgment before. I feel like before, before, and the reason why this thing is set before, I don't really think that you really knew what you were getting yourself into. Um, now that you threw your sword down and you realize that, you know, everything that I needed to know, I don't think that I'm going to get it here. You know, I got whatever wisdom, like you wrapped your mind around everything that you needed to wrap your mind around this situation. I don't think that you search anymore in regards to trying to figure out what happened and why it happened. What's broken is broken. It's not going to be mended. And I feel like, you know, you know what I'm saying? In regards to you having better judgment, that this is going to continue to keep you off balance if you continue to focus on that. And I feel like that's why you gave it to the universe and that's why you letting the universe you are turning your back on that shit that's not serving you you know what i'm saying because it's not it's not benefiting you you're giving it to the universe you're you are faced to the universe or whatever is being created for you to 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 further your advancement in the future and create new love because even though the sun set on this one there's something else in the background being created, and that's going to be a little bit more fulfilling. So it's like kind of turning your back to things that you know are not benefiting you and things that are keeping you off balance. Do you see what I'm saying? So because if you can see, you see that Libra scale. You see the scale? Where is it? You see the scale right here? So this is her. This is someone looking to the universe to help them get balanced. Throwing their sword down on things that they know that they're never going to find the answers to. That they know is just broken and can't be mended and giving it to the universe. Giving it to the universe to fix it. You know? So, they realize that at the end of the day, certain shit is just not going to work with certain people. You see how tore and scratched up this seat is? I feel like this woman turned their back to this man in this relationship and there's so much damage that has been done you know there's so much damage that has been done and it's like even though you could try to come over here and rub on this and try to 
what is it that uh, like a, a lucky stump or whatever for good luck and everything like that I feel like it you would have to put so much hard work into the situation in order for any good luck and good fortune and for anything to grow out of this situation so much it's just beat up dead and done you know what I'm saying and I really don't feel like this woman really has a sense of value in herself and that's no offense but I'm just reading the cards I'm just reading the cards so please do not take offense to that I'm, I have to tell you the energy here because for this man to feel like he had to cut this woman out like that, like she was out gallivanting and, 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 you know, so, like, that's the energy that's on the table. This man does not feel like this woman is someone that they, they thought that this person would be a good mother and everything like that, but they soon realized, like, while I'm out at work, this person is not taking care of the house, not doing the things that they should be doing around the house, but they out getting drunk, partying, doing shit. You know what I'm saying? So it took too much work. It took too much work to do that. I feel like Aquarius snuck out of the situation. They got out of the situation in the nick of time, you know, um, and they realized that they are not as mentally trapped and hung up on this situation as they thought that they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually, you got a swore right there you can kind of just cut yourself out and wiggle yourself out of it and you see right above their head it's like an eagle soaring so it's like i'm not i'm not gonna be a prison to this situation you know i'm not like they snuck out they it's like they snuck out of jail you know they snuck out of prison that's how they feel with someone that wasn't worth working on anything with you know and something that they knew at the end of the day would be unfulfilling and with someone that is was completely emotionally removed from the connection that they had but like I said something else is being built there go that Af lake of Aphrodite again something else is being stirred up in the cosmos for you a new love a true love the one that's truly meant for you is being formed for you and that's why it's like you have to figure out who you are individually and stand and be true to your nature. And don't ever bend, shake, fold for no fucking body. So that God can bring you someone that fits you. You know what I'm saying? And that's why when I was, it's just like I felt that blank. And I feel like that's what y'all are right now trying to figure out. Well, who, who, who am I as an individual? Who am I? Am I true to my nature? What do I want? Where do I see myself? What is love? What is happiness? Like, what is abundance to me? What does it look like? What does it feel like? You know? It's like, you know what you don't want. And I don't even feel like, even though for the ones that just had this divorce, if y'all were actually married and not just like, you know, living with each other and things like that. I don't even feel like y'all are to the point where y'all don't want marriage anymore. You know? I don't feel it's that deep. It's just like right now y'all just trying to look spiritual around. Y'all are really on some spiritual growth. Y'all might be seeing little orbs of light floating around and shit. Sticking your eyes tripping. Uh -huh. Yeah, you done unweaved your web. You done unweaved yourself and then got yourself out of that spider's web. You felt like you were about to be trapped by a black widow spider or some shit. Uh -huh. This is about survival right now. This is about survival right now. You felt like you survived a shark. You were in water with sharks. Like this person. <laughs> you feel like you were spared. <laughs> Do you see this shit? It's like they felt like they were about to be eaten alive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they were being tangled up in the web. In, in, in the water with sharks. And like spirit like saved them. <laughs> like, Do you see this shit? Like, spirit saved them. It's like, this is almost like a cry out to say, thank you, God. Like, thank you, God. And I do see green right here. Prosperity, health, and abundance. And this was in the reverse. So I really do feel like this person felt like they were tangled up in a deep web. And they were fighting for their survival because they were in the water with sharks. With someone who was trying to take their prosperity, their good health, and their abundance. Wasp. This was a very stinging situation, you know, and there was some jealousy going on there. 
Hmm. And I feel like, oh, Lady Luck, Eternity. All right. So I feel like I feel like there might be some jealousy there, uh, Aquarius. On your part because it is cheating. I feel like you really need to let this shit go. And I understand that this shit that happened it stinks. It's going to stink for a minute. But just work on letting it go. And pollinate. Pollinate. Look at it as a blessing. Pollinate honey. Pollinate. Go around to other flowers. Go sniff other flowers. Be in your nature. Maybe this is your nature. It was stinging. But at the end of the day. Don't allow it to form jealousy. Become a busy bee. Get to know other people. Get to know other people. Because right now, your flame is burning for an eternity. And you got good luck coming your way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like your passions is burning right now. Your passions is burning right now. Because you are like true in your nature, true to form right now. But I feel like... This flame that is burning. It's like you got you to gotta figure out where you want this flame to go. Do you want this flame to burn for an eternity where you're going to be walking around in a fit of jealousy and you're going to let this shit sting you for the rest of your life? What bug are you going to be? You want to be this one or this one? I want to be the lucky bug. I want to be the lucky bug. I'm not trying to be this bitter stinging jealous individual because of some bullshit that happened where you literally not able to smell the roses which bug are you gonna be you feel me shit give me one last spread for my aquarius and then we up out of here have a tea, a tea, a kia. Beat the pussy up, call Peter. I work the box like a Leah. I ooh, listen, okay. So here go the Ten of Pentacles. Here go Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles in judgment. So listen, this is what I'm about to tell you here, okay. So like I said, this is this is judgment here as well. I, I feel like this clarifies this because at the end of the day. Spirit did save you and you were spared. You were spared. But Spirit is trying to tell you, how do you want to spend your eternity? Do you want me to bless you with good luck? Or do you want to stay in this place of resentment and, and jealousy and misery? Because I feel like this is someone, this is someone that isn't realizing the, the blessing. You know what I'm saying? And I do feel like there is a lot of jealousy in their heart because this shit still, still stings them. But it's like, okay, now it's time for me to judge you, right? Now it's time for me to judge you. Now, what do you want me to give you? And it seems like you're being given a happy house, a happy home, true commitment, kids, stability, wealth, good health. You know what I'm saying? Because this is someone that chose an eternity of good luck and good fortune and happiness versus being jealous and bitter because of a situation that stung them one time. You know what I'm saying? They went around and they was a busy bee and they put that stinger away and they were true to their nature because at the end of the day, all bees are not around to sting and hurt people. That's for like defense, you know? Their true nature is to pollinate. You know? They can't just focus on one flower. And then they don't you focus on one flower. You go around and you date. And you get to experience life. And you want to know. You have good judgment. Do you understand what I'm saying? You went through this for a reason. It stung and hurt. But it, ta it taught you to be true to your nature. And go to the next flower. One monkey don't stop no show. And when you go to the next one, guess what you're going to get? All of that. All of that. All of that. All of that. That's what I want. Okay? So listen. This is the end. This has been your reading. Look. Be your true self and step in true to your nature. Be a busy bee. Go around and pollinate. Don't worry about no hood rat. No, listen. These bitches want to be in the street. Let them stay their ass in the street. Let them go ahead and listen. You know what they say about street meat in New York, honey. What they say, don't eat that street meat. Don't eat that street meat, huh? 
I know you be coming home from the club and shit. This shit be tempting and shit like that. Don't eat that street meat, y'all. All my New Yorkers, let them know. Do y'all eat that street meat? Mm-mm. <laughs> you better leave that street meat alone, honey. You gonna end up sick. <laughs> I'll see you.